I invite you to please stand and to face the doors of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. In the waters of baptism, William died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. This morning we gather in prayer, uh, not only here in person, but by live stream, to commend the soul of William to the Lord, to our Lord who, out of great love, has created us and calls us to be with him forever. So let us join in our prayers as we commend the soul of our brother to that heavenly kingdom. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant William, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be seated as we listen to the Word of God.
A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything and a time for every affair under the heavens, a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 23. Please join in the Responsorial. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Besides restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in the right path for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that gave me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous, it does not put on airs, it is not snobbish. Love is never rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not prone to anger, neither does it brood over injuries. Love does not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance, to its trust, its hope, its power to endure. Love never fails. So faith, hope, love remain. These three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Lay 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. As we gather this morning to commend the soul of William to the eternal heavenly kingdom, we are comforted by words of scripture that speaks of that gift of life, eternal life, and that gift of the kingdom of heaven. In our first reading from Ecclesiastes, we hear that there is a time for all things under the heavens. So even in the Old Testament, we hear, of course, that reference to heaven, that heavenly kingdom in which the Lord calls us to. We know that God is present in every time. We hear in that reading that there is a time for mourning, but there is also a time of peace as well. And I think about that, especially in William's service to our country, and especially that Ecclesiastes that says there's a time of war and a time of peace. And we know that he served our country well, helping to have that peace in our world and in our country. And we give thanks for that gift that he has given to his fellow brothers and sisters. In our second reading from the letter of Paul writing to the Corinthians, Paul writes this phrase, love never fails. And uh, there's another translation that says love never ends. And that is such a great gift to hear that the greatest virtue, since it does not go away, is love. And that virtue does not go away with death. We have that connection of love between those here on earth and those in heaven. If we think about maybe Mary, the mother of God, how we have this great love to, of Mary, and we know that Mary has that great love towards us. So that love is something that never ends. That love is always there. So I encourage the family to uh, recognize that love is something that doesn't go away. We still have that love that connects us. Finally, our reading from John. John uses that word heaven again in our gospel today. And he speaks of the gift of eternal life. Has 
eternal life, those that come to him, the bread of life, those that come to Jesus. And Jesus says, I will raise him on the last day. So as we celebrate our Mass this morning, we hear many references to that gift of life, eternal life, that gift that we will be, we will be resurrected on the last day. We have been given that great gift of being redeemed. God has redeemed us. And because of that, we have that beautiful life, not only here, but we have that beautiful life with the Lord. So let us commend him to the Lord, to that place of light, happiness, and peace, and know that we commend him to a place of wonderful blessings that the Lord has spoken to us. Not only he has blessed us here on earth, but we know that he has blessed us in the heavens. Let us stand. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all of his people, living and dead. To these we will respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For William, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For our brother William, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the family and friends of our brother William, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters, cleanse them of their sins, and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now be seated as we continue with the preparation of the altar.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us stand. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, William, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. I invite you to please kneel or be seated as you wish. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, William, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
I invite you to please kneel or be seated as you wish. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please note that for those who are not Catholic, uh, you are still invited to come forward to receive a blessing if you would like. Um, if you place your hands over your heart as such, I will know to do that. If you would like to remain in your pew, praying for the family, for the repose of the soul of William, you're welcome to remain in your pew as well. We do want to take our time during communion, so please try to social distance. Um, to make that more easy, I will give communion to this side of the church first, and then I will come over and give the other side of the church.
Let us stand and pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother William may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother William in the sure and certain hope that, together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain, to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother William to his resting place.